Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is so lovely to see you guys back here for what is another packed haul full of full autumn wear. Now today's haul is actually packed full of so many great items, but what I will say, these items are a little bit more expensive than what I normally show you. They are still from the high street from Mango, as you probably would have already guessed from the title of today's haul. Now these items, even though they may be a little bit more expensive than my usual hauls, they are absolutely amazing, purely because the quality of them is so good the materials are so thick they feel very luxurious they look luxurious and I have to say if you've been around here for a little while you will realize and have noticed that I've never actually done a haul from mango so today for me is actually a shop that I have not done from mango for I don't know good a good couple of years so I was actually really surprised at the quality the styles the differences from these items from the usual high street clothing so it has made me think that I will definitely be looking in mango a lot more when looking for particular kind of really basic essential wearable pieces that I can wear again and again throughout the seasons and most importantly to take me through from this weird fall autumn that we have here in the UK which is basically currently it's very very sunny but this morning it was really really cold grey and miserable so during autumn what I really love to do is have items that I can literally layer up and then also take off wherever it's too hot and just really have fun with layering items style them up in different ways to make them look different in different outfits and just really get in my cost per wear per item so I'm really excited to show you some of these items today and I hope that you love them as much as I do now my first item of today's haul is this beautiful beautiful gilet now if you've been around here for a little while you will know I love a gilet from the last haul last last week from H&M I've already bought myself a beautiful pink gilet but I have gilets in a huge amount of different colours because I just find them such an ideal item to be able to throw on over a really woolly jumper or even a, a much thinner jumper. I wear them in the autumn, in the winter, in the spring. I just find that they're just such an easy item just to be able to throw on or throw in the back of your car and also to be able to layer up and change how you wear them with different items from whether that be a different skirt, a different legging, a different trouser, a different colour top and I know I'm going going on and on but I just find that these items here are so versatile and they sit in your wardrobe for a long time so for example I already have an item which is very similar to this but a much shorter gilet which is a black item that I believe I got from Zara last year and I actually have worn that item to death whether that be going out meeting people for coffee for drinks walking a dog and what I do find is whenever I throw these items on I always look smart so for example if I'm just wearing leggings and a top and I literally just throw this as I'm walking out the house I literally look put together even though five minutes before that I would have been slobbing around on my sofa eating chocolate watching Netflix whatever that may be but I am jabbering on with like I am literally like the gilet queen crusader but the reason that I love this gilet is that it's a little longer and hopefully I'll be showing you that in a cutaway just belong here but it's a little bit longer now when I first put this on I thought oh it's a little bit snug it didn't really do much for my actual kind of body shape but what I love about this item is that they've got this belt here which allows you to really just pull it in so what that allowed me to do was have that real hourglass shape really accentuated because by pulling in the belt it really took the eye to give you that real beautiful hourglass shape in addition to that the material there's something that I can't show you through the camera it's just such a luxury feeling material it is obviously a vegan leather it's not real leather but it definitely feels like it it looks like it and I think the only way you could tell that it's not real leather is actually by the smell and strangely enough I can't smell anything at all so it doesn't smell plasticky at all the actual kind of padding inside the gilet is not too little and not too much it's the right amount of padding and I have to say being a curvy girl with a curvy kind of bum and, and thighs I always get a bit conscious about having padding around that particular area but I think by having this belt to pull you in it doesn't make me feel so conscious but I absolutely love this and I know that Mango will have this available not just in this beautiful cream colour but they have it in the black colour and I was actually tempted to get it in the black colour but as I said to you I've already got a short version of the same kind of material from Zara last year that I wear it again and again and I am trying to be good now you may think oh she buys a lot of clothes because I do buy a lot of clothes I love clothes however I am still trying to make quite considered choices so like I say if this color isn't for you there is a black version I'll link both below in the description but it's absolutely beautiful now I got this in a size small and uh could I have gone for a medium I think yeah I could have gone for a medium if I was looking for that bit more of an oversized look but what I will say even though it's a little bit of a snug fit it fits perfectly 
I will say that if I'd gone for a medium, because it would have been a little bit bigger and a bit more padded, I don't know if that would have added more to my actual figure and maybe I wouldn't have liked it. So I am actually quite happy that I got this in a size small. The price for this item is, I think, £70. So it is a lot more than the gilets that I got from H&M, which I think were like £30. Um, I think the black one, which was a lot shorter that I got from last year, was £30. So it's double the price. But I would say it is definitely worth it because it, hopefully you'll be able to see it from the cutaways that I've shown you. It does look luxury. And I think if you wear a really nice handbag or a luxury handbag or a luxury pair of boots, that you can really elevate this look. So for me, this is an absolute no-brainer. I will be keeping it I have bought a lot from Mango and I was hoping that I would be returning some and as you'll see as we go through today's haul there are quite a few items but I absolutely love it and I think I will definitely get my wear through this especially for the fall season and I can't wait to show you styled up more on my Instagram but moving over to my next item in true form I said to you I do love a gilet and I'm not lying so there are two gilets in today's haul and this item is actually from H&M now the reason I snuck this in I know it's a mango haul and I've got beautiful items to show you from mango is that I still constantly shop in H&M and even though last week the whole haul was from H&M I don't just want to stick to one shop if I find items that I love and I am going to keep I want to be able to show you these now this style here it's a beautiful, very big, very oversized green gilet in the very much the same kind of style, kind of print, this kind of, I was gonna say hexagonal, but it's not really, it's a circular print, the kind of, if you follow stylists or people on Instagram, you would have seen that kind of style print on the Frankie's coats that are literally all over Instagram. So it's got a similar kind of style there, but it's very big and very oversized. Now, I have to say, I think I love this more when I saw this on the model than I do myself. So I'll show you how I would wear it in a cutaway and maybe you could let me know if you think this looks good for me or maybe that I should send it back. I think the reason I'm a little bit unsure about it is just because of how oversized it is. But I do think it has that real style, that real kind of riding, kind of countryside style. I love the contrast piping that you've got here. I love the fact that you've got this buttons here, which you could actually pull apart. And I will show in the cutaway how it looks with the buttons all undone and the buttons all kind of pulled together. But I think that wearing this with a kind of a brown pair of leggings or a green pair of leggings, a really beautiful thick um, kind of fur style, um, probably a pair of Wellington boots when it's like a little bit colder, you know, walking into your local pub. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful style and it is very, very light. And the additional great thing about it is that it's water repellent, which to be honest, in all of my gilets, none of them are waterproof or water repellent. So I'm really interested to see how water repellent this material is from H&M. The wonderful thing about it is that it's only £20, which I think is actually unbelievable. It's the cheapest gilet that I actually own, I think. Um, and that might be down to the fact that the material itself is very, very thin and it purely is just a layer, just to kind of build as like a kind of a wind layer, a water repellent layer. But I think for £20, it's absolutely wonderful price. Now this is an extra small because when I saw the model wearing this, it looked very, very big. So I thought I'd go for a size down because we all know I don't wear an extra small. I'd love to wear an extra small, but that's just not me. I am a small, a small eight to 10, occasionally a medium girl. Um, but yeah, I've got an extra small. I do, I do think I should keep it. I feel like it's a bit more experimental. It's a little bit further away from my normal style. So I would really love to know your thoughts in the comments. But once again, a beautiful price. I mean, 20 pounds for a water repellent gilet. It's quite shocking really. So I had to include that H&M item here, even though this is a majority mango haul. Now, before I go to my next item, which is the last outerwear item from today's haul, I wanted to show you this bag. Now you probably would have already seen this in, in the cutaways as I've styled it up with the other two items. But this is a very much, a very furly, furly, <laughs> a very furry shearling clutch bag, which is very similar to that cream cos clutch bag that I was talking to you about last week, the one that I saw last year, wasn't too sure about it, and then just absolutely fell in love with it. It never came back in stock, and then I kind of was looking around for it, even in the following season, I looked on eBay to see if anybody who was gonna sell it secondhand, and it just never came back, which is a good sign, really, because it shows that the people that bought it, loved it, kept it, and are probably wearing it this year. So when I saw this item come on to Mango, in this kind of slightly darker color, this brown color, which is very different to the cream color, I was kind of like, 
oh, I wish they were gonna stop this in a cream color. I waited a little while, but then I just kind of bit the bullet and bought this. I am so glad that I did because what you might see is, especially from last week's video and this week's video, what you will see is that even though I still love my color, don't get me wrong, I'm still here for the color. I have tried investing in more neutral colors and playing with kind of browns, and um, beiges, creams, greens, whereas before my color palette, especially in the winter, has always been kind of blues, lavenders, pinks, lighter greens, to try and lift my mood. And I think that was incredibly important for me last year, during the COVID period, during the lockdown, during my partner suffering long COVID. I think I just needed that little extra lift, that, that little extra pep in my step to get me through last year. So I'm really happy to be able to, to kind of delve into different neutral colors. But this bag here, I think this is like 35 pounds. Um, it's a beautiful bag. It is incredibly huge. Now I've still got the stuffing in it because I wanted to show you what it looked like with something stuffed inside it. But if I just open it up, it is incredibly huge. You can get a lot in there. So I really like the fact that it is very large and you can literally just tuck it under your shoulder, throw it on the side. You know, you would have seen it styled already in the cutaways. So let me know if you think that it's a bag that you would love to wear to style out. Do you think it's a bag that is kind of perfect for this season? For me, I find that I don't go out too much of many items and I find that having a bag under my shoulder is perfectly fine because it's not going to be too heavy. So I really, really like this item. And on that point about talking about wearing neutrals, what you may have seen is today, this is a beautiful vest from Cara Millen. And forgive me, I'm not wearing a bra, so if my nipples are showing, I'm very, very sorry. But this beautiful vest from Cara Millen, they've got it in, I think, a darker color. This is the oatmeal color. And they do it in black, they do it in cream. And I'm literally just sitting here in a pair of kind of brown Adenola leggings, which once again, I could actually talk to you for ages because these leggings are absolutely amazing. And I think what I will do is talk to you in another video because I have bought so many of these leggings. But I'm just sitting here very comfortable in my neutrals. I still feel happy. I still feel lifted even though I'm not wearing any color. And yeah, I have to say, I am thoroughly embracing the neutral colors. So I hope that you're liking these neutral colors as much as I am. Um, if you still love color, don't worry. I will still be buying color. But yeah, I'm really enjoying experimenting with these different colors, which kind of leads me on to my next item quite nicely because this is a coat. Now you would have seen that last year I brought a green coat, which is lovely. It's padded, it's very padded jule that I've been wearing a lot, to be honest, from dog walks. But this is another coat. Now, the reason that I've gone for yet another green coat is because I found that green for my skin tone seems to work really, really well. And I kind of like this kind of color around this time of year. And the reason that I've gone for another green coat when I've already got a green coat is they're very different. So what I will do is put a cutaway, a little picture of, of me wearing the green coat from last year. And then I'll show you in the cutaway this picture because this is a very relaxed, lazy, cozy coat. Now the price point is expensive, it's 90 pounds. So it's a lot more than I normally would spend for a coat. Um, I normally spend loads of money on handbags and shoes, but with coats, I just never tend to spend too much. I think it kind of sits at the 60 pound mark, but this is 90 pounds. But the reason I loved it is because of this kind of double kind of collar look that's really, really relaxed. And the fact that it's got this, once again, another tie weight belt around it, which accentuates the figure. So I think sometimes when you wear really long kind of maxi coats, it just gives you that straight up and down kind of look. So I just, I was really enticed by the belt and the same way that I was by the first item of today's haul with the gilet. And yeah, it's quite lightweight. Now it is very, very warm, um, even though it's quite thin. So the pattern they've got inside, I don't actually know what the material is in the pattern. It doesn't seem to say, um, oh, apparently it's um, recycled padding, so recycled fibers, which is good. And also water, oh, I didn't actually know this. This coat has a thermal insulation, which explains why I said it was so hot. Um, it's also got recycled filling and it's water repellent. So these are things I didn't know. And actually this makes me love this coat even more. And maybe that explains the price point. Maybe this is why it is the 90 pounds because even though my other coat from last year, I do wear it on dog walks, it doesn't water very well and it does get very damp, even though it looks like it'd be a, you know, quite a water repellent coat. So yeah, I love this item and I can see myself wearing this, not necessarily for dog walks, but more for actually going to town, like going to shops and going shopping and going for coffee and meeting people for lunch because it has that dressier element, but it can also be quite casual as well. So I think it kind of fits quite well into wearing different ways, which is one of the reasons I love it. 
and it's probably one of the reasons why it's one of my most expensive coats that I own currently. Now today's wildcard item has to be a full on matching tracksuit, yes that's right, I said a matching tracksuit, it's not the kind of thing that you would normally see here, I think I've probably bought one tracksuit in the past year and that was probably a wild card um but this tracksuit was actually a surprise to me i always buy a wild card item an item i think mm, not really my style but i'll see what it looks like when it comes and i'm very much surprised by this wild card item because even though it's a tracksuit it is very very smart it's something that you could still wear in a day with a pair of trainers but it doesn't look like a tracksuit. It looks like a very stylish tracksuit. So I'm very, very happy with it. And I also think if I found like a shirling kind of gilet to go over the top, that they could really elevate this item. But it is this kind of very light cotton material with these lovely big pockets, which kind of remind me of, you know, um, kind of big denim jackets or big anorak kind of thing with this very kind of light gold. So not too harsh a yellow gold, gold but it's light gold zip work, a nice collar with the matching trousers which actually have a beautiful waistline so you've got this nice kind of drawstring waistline that makes it very comfortable very relaxing to wear once again it's that light cotton material as well with just a kind of standard tracksuit bottoms at the very bottom of the actual trouser now it's not something that i would normally buy and especially with it being kind of a cotton color um it is actually thick enough so you don't see any of your underwear I really like this item and I didn't think I would, but hopefully you'll be able to see in the cutaways. I intend to wear this with a pair of kind of really smart kind of Louis Vuitton trainers just to elevate the tracksuit item again. Maybe even a pair of Chanel trainers, but I think I like the fact that the Louis Vuitton has a kind of kind of a brown kind of edge to the back of the tra white trainer, which makes it look good. But yeah, I really like this. I think this is very, very stylish. Um, and it's so stylish that when I look back at it, it's, I think it was sold out last week when I looked back at it, but I think, I think it will be coming back into stock. But the fact that it was sold out shows that other people thought it was stylish. I wasn't actually wrong with my decisions there. Um, and that's another thing to say. If any of these items that I'm showing you today are actually out of stock, what I will say is just wait. I think there's been a bit of a delay with this kind of shortage of drivers um first it was the fuel shortage and then it's the driver's shortage i think it's been quite hard for a lot of shops to be able to get a lot of their stock so i would definitely say if you see anything today that you love and it's out of stock just to keep an eye on it i'll put yourself on the notification list because these items are absolutely outstanding i'm really happy with them and i feel like i'm getting a really good kind of wardrobe for my full autumn of this year, this week's haul and last week's haul but yeah the items for those that are a size i got them in i think a size small i just need to check the bottoms i got the top in a size small i got the trousers in a size small they're kind of still oversized but still kind of fitted the trousers for me even though i'm quite curvy are fitted and i'm actually happy that they are much more fitted than really really baggy because i feel like it would have made the actual whole outfit not as smart but yeah i absolutely love the items the top itself is 30 pounds the trousers were 20 pounds i would say that for me they are a matching set i don't think you're going to see me wearing the tracksuit bottoms by themselves but i think the sweatshirt is actually quite good i could see myself wearing the sweatshirt with kind of brown or green leggings but yeah i really really like it and then moving on to the last two items of today's haul, sorry, it's been a lot today. There's been lots of items, but I have loved them, are these two vests that you can see here. So I've got them one in the cream and I've got them one in the striped. And I'll tell you why I got the one in the striped. The stripe is definitely a fashion trend of this year. Now, if you've looked on Instagram, everyone's kind of got the striped kind of long, long sleeve jumpers. But for me, I don't always like to stay right on trend. So I like the stripes. But I wanted to try it in this kind of vest style because what I do quite like wearing in the winter, especially in autumn, once again, when I'm trying to layer up and be able to take layers off when it gets like hot like today. Now we started this video, it was boiling hot, really sunny, and now it's kind of really gray and it's got colder. But the reason I like these is because I like to wear kind of a long, long over the top shirt over my leggings that I can then wear my leggings with a pair of boots or a pair of trainers or a pair of wellies. But then I can throw this over the top of the shirt and it kind of elevates just that shirt look. It gives me an extra layer. It makes me feel really cozy and warm. But yeah, this is why I got these items. Now I thought this would go really well with kind of white jeans just during the kind of early fall, early autumn period. 
and then I thought this can transition quite well for me throughout the entire period of, of autumn and winter because I can wear this with pretty much any colour. I can wear it with a, you know, a black long shirt and black leggings with a, this kind of jumper or I can wear it with kind of a green leggings and a white shirt. You know, it's very versatile and what I will say is that is what I'm striving for in my wardrobe. I still love those really wow one-off kind of pieces which look amazing but what I tend to find is that those items don't have much longevity because once you've seen a few people again and again in the item you know people remember stunning items like that whereas things like this I just love being able to mix and match with different colours different trousers different materials and still get my wear for them but these items i believe i think they're 30 pounds each i got them both in a size small to be truthful they fit well in a size small um i also think i could have got them in a size medium and they would have still looked um the same but a little bit different i think they would have looked a bit more stylish um, but I love both of these items. Um, I think because I'm trying to be sensible how I spend my money that, that I only keep one item. So what I would really love is for you to let me know in the comments what one you think I should keep. Should I keep the plain cream or should I go for the striped one? What are your thoughts? But anyways, it has been lovely to chat to you again. I love showing you these items just as much as I've loved receiving these items, trying them on and thinking, yes, this is exactly what I need in my wardrobe. But I hope you are all well. I hope you are having a lovely week. I hope you are enjoying some of the sunny, sunniest weather. I was about to say, yeah, some of the sunniest weather that we've had in the UK all year, which includes the summer. I hope you have enjoyed these really bright days, the sunny mornings and have been able to get out and about just before the kind of winter sets in. I hope you are all getting out there, walking about, enjoying the nature, getting that fresh air in, as well as getting out, seeing your family and friends and really getting to enjoy their company this year because last year was so, so different. But anyways, I hope you have enjoyed today's haul and I thank you very much for watching me today. If you have liked today's haul, it would be amazing if you'd give me a thumbs up because it gives me a good indication of the items that you have liked and the items that you haven't liked, as well as hitting subscribe if you fancy seeing more of the items that I buy. And let's be honest, there's a lot of items that I buy. But anyways, it has been lovely to speak to you and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and weekend and I hope to speak to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.